Phoenix, Arizona, where I live, is known for its dramatic dust storms, referred to with the Arabic word aboob. Mars also has dust storms of varying size and duration. This week, Perseverance captured what may be the biggest one it's yet observed on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance has returned to one of the weird-looking rocks that I reported on in episode 233. Apparently, the team decided it's worth a closer look, despite the highly irregular surfaces that likely will preclude any work with the drill. As is the norm at the end of each drive, Perseverance shot a full 360-degree navcam panorama. Here are Mars guys for scale and perspective. You can see the tracks that Perseverance made after it departed Crocodilan, about 200 meters below, and drove up the outer crater rim. Beyond this is terrain that also appears in an upper tier of navcam images acquired about two and a half minutes later. This frame shows rising dust that I estimate is about two miles away based on comparing it to the orbital images. Almost 40 minutes later, there's a much bigger dust cloud further out that was captured in the first frame of a 21-frame Dust Devil movie, something the team regularly shoots in the hope of catching one. This time it caught a full-blown dust storm, more like a haboob than a dust devil. I estimate it's about five miles away. The actual time between frames is four seconds, so this is sped up by about a factor of 16. The full duration of this movie is about a minute and 20 seconds. Around to the south, more dust clouds appear. Again, these rolling clouds of dust don't have the structure of dust devils. They look like they're driven by horizontal gusts of wind rather than the swirling vertical updrafts that drive dust devils. Further to the north is a just barely visible dust cloud, which I've sped up even more to make it recognizable. It's hard to tell anything about its structure, though. Much closer to home in the last two frames of the movie, a cloud of dust pops up from behind the hill slope, showing just how widespread this dust event is. All this blowing dust is yet another reminder of just how active the atmosphere of Mars can be, despite having a pressure less than 1% that of Earth's atmosphere. An even better reminder are all the sand ripples and drifts in this scene, beautifully rendered by Neville Thompson from MassCam Z images. And although Mars will never have a haboob as powerful as the ones on Earth, it can still lift dust high enough into the atmosphere that it spreads around the planet, blotting out the sun for weeks or even months at a time. Think about that next time clouds get you down. 